Maybe my first audition ever was a, a school play, a play called Crazy Camp, and it was in sixth grade. I played the supporting lead. Uh, I ended up dating one of the more popular girls as a result, and then the second the play was over, she dumped me. Uh, and I learned then the power of uh, getting a good role. I had moved to New York first out of high school, and I got a pilot, and the pilot got picked up. It was a critically acclaimed series for Fox called Opposite Sex. At the time, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. It was a show about an all-girls high school, and it was the first year the school had gone co-ed, uh, and only three boys applied. Imagine the hijinks that ensued. Yeah. And then around 2001, I got my first movie, uh, another uh, critically acclaimed Oscar darling called Not Another Teen Movie. It's very highbrow stuff. I had a banana in my butt. It was, that's what you train for. In the beginning, everything is a plus. Everything's a positive. So in no way do you think, well, should I do this? Yeah, you know, it's just, the banana's gonna go on my butt. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be a silly day on set. It's gonna be funny and we're gonna laugh. But you don't think twice about really anything at that stage. You're just really happy to be there even if you gotta put fruit in your pooper. Uh, I play Steve Rogers, I play Captain America. I do have a shield at home, yeah. Yeah, it's very heavy. My buddies have a few drinks and start stumbling in the room with the shield and start yelling out lines and it's, it's a good time. They just, gave me the, uh, they just gave me the cowl, the helmet, so now that's become incorporated in the drunken routines and yeah. I just wear it when they come over completely sober. It's just like, what's up fellas? Come on in, make yourself at home. Okay, okay, I grew up with a big crush on Sandra Bullock. Speed was a big one. The whole movie in general did it for me. There is no favorite love scene I've been in. Being in a love scene is a tragic, tragic experience that every actor should go through just to know how absolutely painful and awful it is. Um, I I'll say, I mean, I'm a big, big fan of the movie Legends of the Fall. Now, I don't know if anyone's seen it. It's fantastic, and if you think you've seen it, you're like, oh, it's about like brothers or something, right? No, see it again. It's phenomenal. If you make it through 30 minutes without shedding a tear, you don't have a heart. And there are some really, really beautiful scenes in that movie. It's, there's like 12 different love scenes in that movie, and each one of them really just, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I listen, love scene doesn't have to be between a man and a woman. It can be any way you want. Oh man, you know what movie? Kills me, uh, My Life. You ever seen My Life with yes. Michael Keaton? Oh my God, give me a break. Ah, uh, it's murder. When his father's shaving his face and he says he loves him. Oh, uh, I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't even do it, it's gonna get me going. It's really tough, it's a tough movie. Michael Keaton's just so good. And father's son stuff just destroys me. And family stuff really kills me, you know what I mean? To me, family's just, you know, this, it's what it's all for, really, in my opinion.